What's the team? How's everybody doing? I hope you're all okay, safe and well. We're back again, more home training with the chair. This time I'm gonna kind of give away a little bit of a secret. This is something that I was working on uh, prior to lockdown. I've been doing it for quite a while. I had a lot of success with it and I was beginning to show it to a few of my higher belts and I watched them use it when they were sparring as well. So it's a great technique. It's a way of maintaining control on the back, okay? So, here we go. I'm just gonna stick my head out here while I talk. Basically, you've got the back, okay? We've got double unders, we're under both arms and we're controlling the lapels, both lapel grips, okay? I tried this with the jacket and it just kept falling off. So it actually works really well if we just grip the sides of the chair like so, all right? So we've got the back and what's gonna happen, very common escape, a partner's gonna pop the hook off and start to bail, okay? If they manage to get their back to the floor, our next option is to go direct to the mat. But in this case, Here's what you're going to do. Once they go, before they have a chance to get their back to the floor, I'm going to take my top hook and put my knee right between the shoulder blades. And now I'm just going to get to the top. So I keep my knee in the shoulder blades, I keep my arms locked, and I'm going to come to the top. I use my foot and my head on the floor. And then I'm going to sit back, keep my knee in their back, and then find the right time to get the hooks in. Remember, don't cross your feet when you've got the back. They're gonna pop the hook off, and start to bail. As they're going, before they get a chance to get to the, at the back to the mat, I'm gonna put my knee right between their shoulder blades. And I kind of push it in, I drive it in a little bit. It's rather uncomfortable, a bit rude, okay? But you're gonna keep the back. So from here, I use my foot and my head on the floor. Watch how I come to the top now. I get my head on the floor and I bring my knee right underneath me. And then I'm just gonna sit back, keep my knee where it is, right between the shoulder blades. And then when I find the right time, I'm just gonna sit back and get the hooks in again. It works really well. I showed this to one of my higher belts and he went and used it straight away before he'd even actually practiced it. <laughs> so I can do it in specifics. Uh, it was really good. Okay, so again, we lose control. Hook gets popped off. They start stepping over the leg. I'm losing control. All right, they're exposing their back to me still, all right? I haven't twisted and put their back on the mat yet. I'm gonna bring my top leg, put my knee right between the shoulder blades with my shin, kind of in a line down their spine. And then I'm gonna use my head on the floor and my foot to bring my knee underneath me. And then I'm gonna kind of sit back. So I come round, 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 round. I keep my knee maintaining contact all the time. Okay, my arms will now be pulling in. Okay, and we find the right time just to lay back and get the hooks in. Back control, pops the hook off, starts to lose it. Knee goes in right between the shoulder blades. Okay, it's a bit rude, but never mind. Okay, keep your arms straight so I maintain that distance between us. That's going to allow me to come back take the back. So my foot goes on the floor, my head goes on the floor. So I get my knee underneath me and I keep my other knee right in their back. And then I'm just gonna fall back to sit in position. Okay, and then I find the right time to get the hooks in again. Last couple. Okay, drop the hook, step over. Knee goes in, head on the floor. Sit back, take the back. Last one. Lose the hook. Knee in the back, head on the floor. Sit back, okay. Boom, hooks in. Maintain back control. Okay guys, not exactly a secret, but it was something us higher belts have been working on for a while. <laughs> Maybe some of you felt it. Okay, take care. Stay safe. Now you know what's going on. Go practice it. Oos.